Oh my gosh, Loveland Magazine viewers, we are here with the legendary Loveland High School graduate, Jillian Hayes. And yes, she's way taller than me, as if you couldn't tell. Jillian, what is going on, girl? You know, not that much. We won our first uh, cross-town shootout, so I'm thrilled. Amen to That's that, right? it, yeah. So listen, you guys are now 3-0 and since Coach Michelle heard, yes. right? Right, so you've held it since 2018, that Kendall Cup. How's it feel, man? I mean, since you've been here, y'all have won yeah, against so Xavier. We didn't get to play last year because of COVID. Right. Uh, they had like a COVID incident. So I'm just thrilled that we, I got to my first cross country, you know, growing up in the area, watching all of like constantly every year watching them play. It's right. just amazing to like be on the court and actually play and win. So. And I agree with that. Now, I will say in the beginning, right, you got in a little bit of foul trouble. No big deal. You're aggressive. We know that. I love that. I'm not going to shame you for that. The crazy thing was the last four minutes, you killed it, right? You got nine points, right? Seven rebounds, three assists, and four steals in the last three or four minutes. What happened? What went through your mind? Um, I was kind of in a funk the whole game. Yeah. And in game time situations, you just have to step up and let all that go. So I wasn't really worried about it. I just, I just knew I had to step up. Amen to that. Now, December 1st, 23 points against Central Michigan. What the heck? And then I was looking through your other stats. You've had double digits in points and almost in rebounds 50% of the time. So you guys are five and four now out of those four games. So tell me from freshman to now, what has changed? I mean, you were on the freshman ACC team, right. AAC team, which was unreal. Tell me what's changed. Um, I think my confidence and just having that year under my belt of experience, now that I'm like calm, more calm on the court, I think it's just getting consistent for me. So. Right, right. Now, tell me out of, you know, you have a lot of strengths, right? Let's talk weaknesses. We're athletes. Let's talk about it. What you trying to work on? Obviously, my foul trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really just uh, locking in on defense and not getting flustered with my shot, just letting it go. And if my shot's not falling and doing the intangibles, like rebounding. And, yeah, exactly. Now, scoreboard, 82 to 73. Wow. Yeah. I mean, what are you doing tonight? What are you? How are you going to celebrate? Um, luckily, I'm not a finals, but I'm probably going to go back and sleep. <laughs> yeah, and, and the whole family was here, yes or no? Uh, no, my dad's actually out of town. My mom was working, but my two little brothers were here. So, okay, okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. Now, I, I do want to ask this. One of the comments you made back in the day when I interviewed you was your first year here, you wanted to make an NCAA tournament run. What you feeling for this year? You think it's going to happen? Obviously, I'm, I have high hopes for that, and I think we just have to stay disciplined. We have a great team, a lot of talent. We just have to stay disciplined and lock into the coach's game plan, and I think we can do it. And, and I agree with that just from looking. You know, even when you guys were shooting a little bit over 30% after the first half, you still got after it on the defensive end. You still were doing the fast breaks. You were still boxing out. I guess my big thing is, on this team, you're a sophomore. When I was looking at you, you were talking. You were a leader out there. Who do you emulate on this team? Um, you know, I think that's kind of a tricky question. We're all so young and new, but, uh, you know, Coach asked me to step up as a captain this year. So, so me and Rom and just building off each other and Akira and, you know, I think everybody like likes to follow. So just always coming together and having that unity. When we have that unity, we, we feel pretty unstoppable. I agree. Now, you said you're a captain? Yes, ma'am. I didn't know about that. Yes, ma'am. So they asked you this year as a sophomore. Yes, and who else? Who else? Uh, Rom Yang. Okay, okay. She's senior, yeah. Wow. Congratulations, Thank man. You. I'm proud of you. I'm Thank really you. proud of you. So what's your goals? What's your goals for this year? What do you want to do other than the NCAA run? Uh, what's what's some attainable goals that you want to achieve before the end of this year? Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, conference. We want to win the conference and win the conference tournament. Um, you know, and just keep bringing more, more fans. And the atmosphere was great today. We'd love to have this many people all the time. So just keep on. Keep on winning and learning. Amen to that. Now, I do want to mention, guys, she's a student athlete. I don't know if y'all know, but when she was at Live Loveland, you graduated with a pen, right, which meant you were somewhere between a 3.6 and a 3.9. You also got the Archie Griffith Award, unreal, for your, for your sportsmanship. What are your grades like this year? I know you're killing it in the classroom, too. I have pretty good grades this year, actually. So, you know, I'm just trying to stay locked in the classroom and on the court. So there's nothing more attractive than a student athlete. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? There you go. There you go. Now, I do want to ask, is there anything that coach said during this game before, after halftime that really set home with you to get this going towards the end of the game? Uh, she just said lock in and trust me. And, you know, sometimes I can maybe stray away from that when I get in my own head. So I just had to calm down and lock into the game plan. 
Amen. Now we're going to end this because I know you got things to do. You need to celebrate. What do you want to say to your hometown? You know the fans are watching. You know the Tigers are here for you. What do you want to say to Loveland? Uh, thank you for always supporting me. I saw so many of you here today, and Loveland Tigers forever, so thank you. Yes, yes, and Coach Darnell, we with you, man. We with you. Anything you want to say to Coach D? Coach Darnell knows I love him. I'm always there for him. I talk to him all the time. There so. you go. There you go. All right, you heard it right here. Jillian Hayes, WNBA. I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Girl, good job. I'm proud of you. Keep on keeping on. All right, man? Thank you so much. All right, Loveland. We'll see y'all later. Dude, thank you so much. Oh.